There's the Sydney Croatia lineup. There's three changes from the side that lost 2 1 at Preston last week. Coming in, Mike Grabeski and Tony Popovic, and Ivan Petkovic made his debut for the season. Sydney Olympic are unchanged from the side that won against South Melbourne last week, 1-0. There's no place for the goal-scoring substitute, Marko Perinovic, who again starts on the bench. Our referee is Richard Lorenz, 38-year-old primary school teacher from Sydney. So Sydney Olympic get us underway in the first half, they're attacking the goal to our left. Sydney Olympic, their familiar all-blue outfit. Sydney Olympic, the league leaders. Sydney Croatia down in 12th spot. Only one win this season. If you believe in omens, Sydney Croatia's only win was against Sunshine George Cross when they came to Sydney as the league leaders. David Barrett with the throw on the far side for Sydney Olympic. Kevin Hagen there pushed the back so the first free kick goes to Sydney Olympic opportunity for Gary Phillips or David Barrett to swing this one in Kevin Hagen's at the far post Nick Plataniotis has also moved forward as Barrett swings this one across way there by Ramora Plataniotis there trying to the shot but was off target way by Grabeski and his clearance there is picked out by Steve Georgiakis he's lifting it forward First touch of the afternoon is Elko Kalic. Worrying times for Ron Corry, the Sydney Croatia coach, former Socceroo goalkeeper. Things really haven't gone right for him his first season in coaching. Elko Kalic, the young goalkeeper from Sydney Croatia, celebrating his 17th birthday this, this evening. to Sydney Olympic. Scotty Oller in sure their big money signing a couple of weeks ago from St George. Scored on his debut. The lead up work for the goal last week. Here's Steve Georgiakis. In there by Popovich. Now for Graham Arnold to chase. Manis Lamont uh, making the chase through the centre but it was cut out by Robbie Hooker. He read the situation so well. And then was collected after he played the ball by Graham Arnold. Richard Lorenz comes across to talk to his linesman, Jim Reeves, and Graham Arnold gets the yellow card. The first yellow card in the fourth minute for the Sydney Croatia skipper, Graham Arnold. Certainly it's been a frustrating season so far for Graham Arnold. That really was a late challenge, and it's very unlike Graham Arnold. That's from Robbie Hooker. Hooker back on his feet. Throw-in's been given to Olympic. Graham Arnold got the yellow card. Surprised now the referee didn't give a free kick. David Seal, the ball in. It's away there by Iron side. Rick Hoy, in there for Ante Ramora. Gary Phillips there, putting that one through, and here comes Kevin Hagen. Played across very quickly there for Abbasad, but it was cut out in the end by Popovic. Taylor Mora. Now Grabeski nearly presenting the chance there to his old teammate, Scott Oller in short. Good brave goalkeeping by Selko Kalic. Let's play so well at the back for Sydney Olympic. Georgiakis. Off for Graham Arnold, so the throw goes to Olympic. Yes, Robbie Hook has been in fine touch this season, but he's already come in for quite a bit of hard treatment from Graham Arnold, and that time from David Seal. Young Sydney Olympic skipper, former skipper, of course, the Australian youth side. Marco Perinovic there, the goal scorer for Sydney Olympic last week against South Melbourne, already starting to warm up on the sideline. One wonders if Grant Lee is fully recovered from the knock that he got last week. 
need to go to hospital. Other side. Jarkis. Hagen. Final court offside. Kevin Hagen, the real form player. The National League at the moment. Exciting the crowd last week. He's got such good touches. New Zealand International. Arnold. And into Robbie Hooker. Suddenly Graham Arnold, the Croatian skipper. He's fired up for this clash. They've had some quite good battles over the years, these two sides. Played 13 times. Croatia have won four, Sydney Olympic have won seven. Here at the Croatian Sports Centre, played six. Three wins from Croatia, two for Olympic. And Kickman, Peter Skopolis, we're trying to increase that total by one. Managing team, the management team now at Sydney Olympic. Straight to Scotty Orenshaw, who picks out Kevin Hagen. Gary Phillips always making himself available. Now Grant Lee. Barrett on the overlap. Away there by Mike Grabevsky. Straight in fact to Gary Phillips. Abassad. Mark Jones wide. Killing that one in. Safely taken there by Felko Kalic. Gaining every match he's played in the National League. Ron Corey was telling me before the kickoff that should be the goalkeeper that goes with the Australian Youth Squad for the next World Youth Championships. So many of the players on show tonight have graduated through the Australian Youth side. Goes in the course. International experience. It's for this free kick to come across. Right there by Platoniotis. Petkovic just hooking that one forward. Now Seal. No worries at all for Clint Goslin. David Seal, another youngster who will come in contention. The Australian World Youth Cup squad. Again, invaluable experience playing in the National Soccer League. Mike Jones. Seal, Pedro Ricoy, Seal, Good run again from the youngster, bundled down from behind by Grant Lee, says referee Richard Lorenz, so a free kick for Sydney Croatia right on the edge of the penalty area. Goslin requested a four-man wall, ensuring that that near post is completely covered. David Seal, 17 years old, has shown so much confidence Free to a run at defenders. He's got inside a free kick. Rikoy, Petkovic, Graham Arnold, the three players over the ball. Arnold, hard and low. Taken up the second attempt there by Clint Goslin. Always difficult balls for goalkeepers to handle. Graham Arnold really gave that some hammer. Position in that by Clint Goslin. Grabbed it at the second attempt. Tony Otis. Petkovic before Lee. Petkovic there just pressing that one forward. Looking for Graham Arnold. Trying the spectacular shot from over his head, in fact. It was a bit too high in the end. But a good effort that from the Sydney Croatia skipper. The goal scorer who's goal scoring such has just deserted him in recent weeks. Petkovic there, just hooked that one forward, and Graham Arnold is back to goal. If it had gone in, it had been absolutely spectacular, but he couldn't keep it down. And in the end, it goes over Clint Goslin's bar. Now, Oliver 
Shaw coming away from Popovich. Still Scotty Oller and Shaw. Brought down by Popovich. He gets the yellow card. Scott Oren Shaw just chopped there from behind. Tony Popovich. Richard Lorenz had no hesitation pulling out the yellow card. Tony Popovich, the 16-year-old youngster, gets the yellow card for that challenge. And there really was no attempt there to play the ball. Oren Shaw was getting away from him. And the youngster there chasing back. Oren Shaw cuts inside. Legs are taken from him. Certainly Croatia have pulled everybody back now with the exception of David Seal. Phillips over the ball. Be very inviting this for Kevin Hagen. He went through the wall. He's have a Saad. Over the top there from Saad, and there was a glorious opportunity. Well, Kevin Hagen was the player who stepped forward to take the free kick. And there was a bunch of excitement there for those Olympic supporters when they saw him take those two steps forward. The wall there half blocked it, but it felt so invitingly there for Abbasad. Somehow, he, six yards out, he scooped it over the bar. And Abbasad, so deadly usually in these situations. Goalkeeper, though, was off his line quickly, and he did enough to put Abbasad off. Mike Krabeski. He's working those dashes down the left wing, Mike Krabeski. That wasn't the best of balls forward. He tried to search out his skipper there, Graham Arnold. He's 22 years old. So during the off-season, St. George. St. George Arcus. And the offside flag is up. That one really did seem to be a bit of a dicey decision. So that was the backboard offside. George Ark is playing the ball forward. It's it float across the halfway line. Well, that's a very tight decision. Remember, of course, it is when the ball is played, not where the ball lands. Sante Ramora. Mark Jones. That by Robert Ironside. by Ante Ramora, who picks out Graham Arnold. Shot there, charge down. Now Manis Le Monde, twisting and turning, still Le Monde. In the end, he was forced so wide. Croatia there were appealing for a penalty. Graham Arnold said that his shot was stopped with the hand. Richard Lorenz was ideally placed a wave play on. Manis Le Monde. to open up his goal-scoring account this season. Forward and Graham Arnold tried the shot there and it came off the arm. Referee Richard Lorenz says it was purely accidental. It's 16 representative. 16 years old. Taniotis. And nearly an own goal. Nick Plataniotis there didn't realize that Manis Lamont was coming on to him very quickly. And he Put under pressure and he misdirected the back pass. In the end it was only inches wide. Sydney and Croatia for their troubles have got a corner and Sydney Olympic have had a let off. The corner to be taken by Manis Lamont. Running this one in, Clint Glossy there under pressure. It seems another corner. In fact, he was put under pressure there by Latani Otis again. At the moment, there seems to be no communication at the back for Sydney Olympic. David Seal with the corner from the other side. Mark Jones for. Way there by Platani Otis. Now 
Dubevsky losing out there to Scotty Orenshaw. Dubevsky, no battles back. And David Seal. Tony Otis again. There for Sydney Olympic. Ironside. Arnold. Certainly is a competitive edge. Sydney, Croatia. Not really giving Sydney Olympic chance to settle. But now they could be caught. Here's Abbasad. Got a terrible bounce. Also lost his balance. Babic. All under pressure. Kalic. Looking forward to celebrating his 17th birthday tonight. Can I say so? Much better. He comes off this Parker winner this evening. and caught there by David Seal. Well, Bobby Hooker really has been in the wars at that time by a late challenge from Seal. The iron side, Orenshaw, and this time the offside flag stayed down. Here's Scotty Orenshaw. Orenshaw, and a good save from the keeper. Now Hagen. And the keeper again to the rescue for Sydney Croatia. Zelko Kalic, the hero there twice. Kevin Hagen was denied the second time. The first time, though, he denied Scotty Oller and Shaw. It was a good break from Sydney Olympic. And Zelko Kalic can be happy with that display. As he's now got to face this corner, though, from Scotty Oller and Shaw. Building this one in. Off the head of Babic. Pataniotis, I think, is going to claim it. He also got a touch. Zorko Kalic is beaten after heroic shift seconds earlier. The Sydney Olympic supporters can celebrate. Nick Pataniotis, his first goal ever in the National Soccer League, can celebrate. The Sydney Olympic take the lead. It came from the corner, off the head there of Babic, and a touch also from Pataniotis. The goalkeeper is beaten. And Sydney Olympic take the lead. Croatia were in trouble from this corner. There was some slack marking, and Platanionis got the final touch. 42 minutes gone. Sydney Croatia nil. Sydney Olympic one. So Nick Platanionis, a 20-year-old central defender, his first goal ever in the National Soccer League. So a real test now for Sydney Croatia. David Seal, here's Graham Arnold, and so close there to an equaliser, denied by Clint Gosling. And Ron Corey knows how close that was, and so does Tony Franken on the end of that picture. And they tell you that teams are susceptible after they've scored a goal. That was nearly the case there. But it was brave play from Graham Arnold. And he's denied there by the legs of Clint Gosling. And in the end, it's cool play from Robbie Hooker to get it away from the danger area. Graham Arnold will know how close that was. for Graham Arnold. Manis Lamont. Arnold! Denied again by Clint Gosling. Well, that just about says it all, doesn't it? The picture tells a thousand words there from Graham Arnold. Denied for the second time in the space of 60 seconds by Clint Gosling. So Graham Arnold leading by example. He can't get it past Clint Gosling at the moment. Now Hagen. Ironside. And Abbasad. Jones is the player that's gone across, but Abbasad there just failing to keep it in. So we're now playing stoppage time at the end of the first half. There, 
judge to have been offside. George Argus. Popovich. It's the time for senior Croatia to stage one. Well, attacking this first half. Here comes Pedro Rekoy. Trying to thread that one through for Graham Arnold. It was cut out by Robbie Hooker. Alan Petkovic as the half-time whistle goes. The first half, we're seeing chances at both ends, but only one of those chances was converted. That was in the 42nd minute. And Nick Pataniotis, his first ever goal in the National Soccer League, is the goal that separates these two teams at the Croatian Sports Centre. The half-time scoreline, Sydney Croatia nil, Sydney Olympic one. Well, Cosi, I don't know about you, but I get the feeling uh, Croatia are a little bit unlucky to perhaps not even be in front at halftime. They can't take a trick this afternoon, John. They've probably had the better of the play in the first half. Olympic have certainly controlled the pace of the game, but they haven't been very positive in front of goal. Whereas Croatia are throwing arms and bodies and all legs and bodies in everywhere, and they've been unlucky not to come back with two goals after Olympic scored that soft goal three minutes before halftime. Well, I saw Sydney Croatia last week against uh, Preston Macedonia. They were terribly disappointing, but they seem to have come out tonight with uh, renewed determination to do something for Ron Corrie. Well, they've got a lot of... Well, the players have copped a lot of stick from the press and from uh, from their committee this week, and I think they really want to prove that they, they are behind the club, that they do want to get out and win games. I mean, nobody likes to lose games, and Croatia is certainly not any different. The players here aren't any different to anyone else. They want to get results, and they want to keep their fans happy. And as for Olympic, not quite the same side as we saw last week against South Melbourne. No, well, as I said earlier, they are controlling the pace of the game, but they're not being positive enough in front of goals. They're probably a little bit complacent in some areas, but Gary Phillips, once again, is controlling the midfield. He's, he's absolute dynamite. He had a brilliant game last week, and he's just continued on this week as well. All right, well, further problems then for Sydney Croatia here, down by a goal to nil at uh, half-time. Let's go back to Mike Hill for the second half. Sydney Croatia get the second half underway, now attacking the goal to our left, Nick Panio. Taniotis, his goal is the one that separates the two sides, scored just three minutes before half-time. Now have a sad. David Barrett forward. Robert Einstein's made a chase from midfield. Still Einstein, but just running out of space. Einstein. He has settled well here in Australia since his move from New Zealand. Loves playing against the Australian side. He scored on his international debut at Olympic Park in Melbourne. One one draw. In fact, Arnold with the shot. Clint Goslin reacted quickly. Graham Arnold, such a hunger tonight for goals. He's having quite an interesting evening against Clint Goslin. It was an awkward angle, that. Graham Arnold really gave him some hammer. That's only just there. That's the clearances. Graham Arnold pounced. Gosling reacts quickly. Simone was waiting. Gosling hadn't grabbed it at the second attempt. Egan. Bumble down there by Mark Babich. Has been closely marked tonight. It's up and trots away. Referee Richard Lawrence had a quick word there with young Mark Babich. And at this time, caught offside. Petkovic. Seal in trouble. Hagen. Looking for a quick turn. Inside made a run through. He had to check and come back. And then plays it wide for David Barrett. Mark Jones. All under pressure. Arnold. Petkovic. Arte Ramora. Hold on inside the player chasing back. Brantley. Hagen's available on this near touch line. It's Hagen. Now Hooker. Saad. Einside. Just for the return from Saad, and it was Mike Grabescu who spotted the danger, but he's had to concede a corner in the process. 
delightful play there from Sydney Olympic. In the end it was Mike Grabeski. the danger and came across. The side with the corner. Brian side. Babich. Badrick there was caught late. Free kick to relieve the pressure for Sydney Croatia, which has been quickly taken. Short. Ball for Hagen. Babic, the player coming across, got there first. And then a good ball forward, picking out Manis Lamont. Lamont faced in by Gary Phillips. It's away from him. Lamont with the cross. Arnold against the bar. Rikai and away by Hooker. And Ante Ramora had the header in. And Olympic get it clear, again as far as Manis Lamont, this time trying to chip the keeper. And now David Seal, and against the bar again, and this time wide. But it won't go in for Sydney Croatia. Pedro Rikai put the final shot wide, but Croatia there were denied by the woodwork on two occasions. But it all started with the magic of Manis Lamont. Pedro Rikai is down. some magic from Manis Lamont. He drifted that one across. Graham Arnold put under pressure. The shot came in from Seal. That rockets against the woodwork. And then Pedro Ricoy put it just wide. Clint Gosling under all sorts of pressure there. And that was the second occasion, in fact, the Sydney Olympic were helped by the woodwork. That just about sums up the season that Sydney Crow, Croatia have had so far. Nothing when you're struggling goes right for you. Now Oller and Shaw. That's there by Ante Ramora. Grabevsky. Grabevsky again looking for Arnold. Here's David Seal. And this time that's got in. David Seal has equalised. And the Sydney Crow supporters go wild. Clint Gosling is eventually beaten. The goal coming in the 18th minute of the second half. David Seal, who seconds earlier was denied by the woodwork, is the player that puts the finishing touch to this move. The cross came from Grabevsky. It came off the back of Graham Arnold. And David Seal is deadly in those situations. Well, Sydney Croatia deserved that equaliser. And David Seal, that's his third goal of the season. And after 63 minutes, we've got a scoreline. Sydney Croatia won, Sydney Olympic won. So David Seal, six goals now in the National Soccer League. And it's only his 12th appearance tonight. Good strike rate for the 17-year-old. He scored last week. Now he's beaten the New Zealand international keeper, Clint Gosling, to bring his side back on level terms. Ron Corrie now will be breathing a lot easier. Now David Seal. Down there by Hooker. The referee Richard Lawrence has a quick word with the Olympic skipper. No booking. So David Seal's a mark man at the moment. That was the challenge. Volks in a free kick. It's free kick taken. Graham Arnold! He got a free header on the edge of the six-yard box. Just guided it wide. A let off there for Clint Goslin. But where was the Sydney Olympic marking? Free kick there, quickly taken. Graham Arnold, a free header. He doesn't get too many of those in a season. Guides it wide. Now Phillips. Grant Lee slipped. Grabevsky got in quickly. Here's Graham Arnold. Terry Mora. 
Jackson them on there trying to sell the dummy. Wasn't bought. Booker. It really is now spring in the set. And Sydney Croatia players. Corey has said all along that a couple of wins really boost the confidence, especially of the youngsters in this side. There's one of them now, Mark Babich. He's 16 years old. Jones. So Ramora forced back. Going back to goal was blocked. Now Krabevsky. Won't be happy with that clearance. Mark Jones with the clearance. Graham Arnold has gone down after that challenge from Batanioides. The ball carries on. He's wrong line side. The ball loose and hacked away there by Popovich. From the right side there, appealing for a penalty. Graham Arnold is still down in back play. You can see there how annoying Robert Einside is. Robert Einside there was put on his way. Only the goalkeeper to beat. Again, good brave goalkeeping. But certainly looking at the replay, it seemed that Robert Einside was upended by the goalkeeper's legs. Referee Richard Lorenz, though, dismisses the penalty, appeals. Certainly there it seemed that Einside has sent the goalkeeper the wrong way, and the goalkeeper brought him down. So it's Elko Kalic. Ante Ramora is the player that's gone off, the player that's come on. Velimir Kuprashak, just his third National Soccer League appearance. The player bought during the off-season from Victoria. Arnold back on his feet. Play will recommence now with the throw in. Still the crowd buzzing at that penalty decision turned down. Here's Gary Phillips. Cooper Sack with his first touch. Getting away only as far as Grant Lee. Now Phillips. The deflection. Away there by Mark Jones, so a corner for Sydney Olympic. Jones, such a good utility player. Not in any position, in fact, and in the National League, he has every position except for a goalkeeper. Here's Abbasad. Rolling this one in. Way there by Kuprasak. Croatia coming out again, looking to play the offside trap. Well, the Lions' flag is up, and Abbasad is asking the question. I think he's got every right to, because Mark Jones, in fact, was back in his own penalty area. Jim Reeves, the linesman on this side, and certainly a couple of his decisions have been a bit controversial. There's an old saying that referees make very poor linesmen. Sydney, Croatia there coming out quickly. It's very hard to tell from that angle, but Mark Jones was the player hanging back, and in fact, he was behind the referee. Is Ironside. Off the head there of Grabevsky. Way by Jones. Kuprasak. Good turn. He got away from Ironside. And Arnold. Platoniotis is having quite a battle this afternoon. Platoniotis, just 20 years old. Still a smile on the face of Graham Arnold. One of the real characters of Australian soccer. Youngster making a name for himself. Oller and Shaw, lovely skills, past three players. Now Phillips, Ironside. Come more and more forward in the second half, Robert Ironside. Hagen. Now Lee. Trying to lay it back for Gary Phillips. Thought about the shot, throws it wide. Ironside. And Hagen there, just possessed by Kuprasak. And then hooks it away from Robbie. Ironside and sees the corner. There's going to be plenty of excitement for this good-sized crowd here at the Croatian Sports Centre. 
think supporters of both sides would be happy with both teams' commitment. Scotty Oller in short. By Jones, now Arnold. This is Rickoy. He's got some space in which to operate. And the side is the player who's chased back. Just directed pass from Rick. Pedro Rickoy there. He's going to come out by Phillips. And turn picks out Lee. Now Hagen. And Hagen there, chopped down by Pedro Rickoy. So another yellow card. And Hagen, the player down. So Kevin Hagen, chopped there by Pedro Rickoy. They were teammates at RPI Leichhardt last season. Before they moved to their new clubs. Quite a pleasant evening now. Although there is quite a bite in the wind as Kevin Hagen gets back on his feet. So the Olympic will have the free kick. So Steve Georgiakis. Sack. Let's get it away from the danger area. One now for Manis Lamont to chase. And David Barron under pressure. Still Lamont chasing through. Hooker got there first. Shaw <laughs> takes the throw quickly. Here's Grant Lee. There by Babich, running away from the danger area by Pedro Rickoy. Again, Robbie Hooker read that situation of perfection. He's in there quickly. Grant Lee. Barrett. Touch there between Barrett and Graham Arnold. The free though, waving play on. Barrett gets the cross in. And Ryan Seidel, good from Shaq there, can win that challenge in the air. Tony Popovich, David Seal. Now Seal. Well spotted by Cooper Shack. That one's been overhit. David Barrett. Graham Arnold, the player chasing back. Putting so much into this match, it's like a cup final. Here's Abbasar, brilliant run. Now Oller and Shaw, still Scotty Oller and Shaw, who was pulled back. But it was a dazzling run from Abbasar as he walks past four defenders. Eventually, he was stopped. Abbasar, brilliant run that. And in the end, he was stopped. Referee there try to play the advantage as Andrew French comes on. It's his second appearance in the National Soccer League. Australian another 16 international. 17 years old. Abbasad now back on his feet. Ivor Petkovic is the player that's gone off. His first game back from injury. Go Kalic. Short of the four-man wall. He's doing its job and covering the angles. Shaw, Hagen, Phillips all over the ball. Phillips touches it for Oller and Shaw. Brilliant save by the keeper. Hooked away there by Graham Arnold. Now Hooker. And he's dispossessed by Graham Arnold again. Here comes Manis Lamont. Olympic this time a stretch. Still Lamont. Faced there by David Barrett. Needs help. Still's waiting at the far post. Still Lamont. Here's David Seal, but he won't get to him. Georgiakis got there first. Here's Kuprasak. Now David Seal. George Ark is touching that one back. He comes off the bar. Now French. His first touch is coming on as a substitute. The shot there was blocked. The Sydney Croatia appealing for a penalty. Now Abbasad. Play switching from end to end. Manis Lamont. 
It's a grandstand finish. Still Le Mans floating this one in. An Olympic there, only too happy to concede the corner. Well, there was let offs at both ends. Clint Gosling was left stranded there by one of his own defenders, whose back pass came off the crossbar. But it was the goalkeeper at the other end who denied Olympic with a brilliant save. Croatia now have a corner to be taken by Manis Lamon. Curling this one in. Gosling there under pressure and pushed by Mark Jones. Sydney Olympic went very close to going into the lead. It was a variation on the free kick. Gary Phillips laid it into the path of Scott Oller and short, and he was denied by a brilliant save by Zelko Kalic, 17-year-old today. What a way to celebrate his birthday. He'll remember that save. But then there was action at the other end. Steve Georgiakis there trying to get there before David Seal, hooks that one back, and it comes off the crossbar. Then the shot's charged down. There was a appeal for a penalty as we come back to play. Zelko Kalic in action again. Hassan really making his presence felt. Play switching from end to end. As we're well in now to the final four minutes. The crowd tonight is over 5,000, and certainly none of the supporters will be disappointed with what they've seen. Both sides have shown 110% commitment and no more so than Graham Arnold. Still Arnold getting away from that challenge. But they're stopped by Steve George Arcus. Challenge that from the former Australian Youth International. And immediately play switches to the other end. Now Arnold. Kuprasak. Stop that time by Robbie Hooker. Other Saad. There's less than three minutes left. Saad again trying to thread that one through for Scott Eller and Short. Cut out by Mark Babic. Kuprasak still down in back play. And now the Sydney Croatia effectively down to ten men. Now Grant Lee. Needs help. Barry Phillips is the player in support. Forward early, looking for Kevin Hagen. Here's Lee. Here's Abbasad. Sydney Olympic. With just two minutes left, Zelko Kalic is annoyed, but really there he was exposed. And Abbasad, his fifth goal of the season, sends the Sydney Olympic supporters into delight. Sydney Croatia there failed to clear and Grant Lee came in unselfishly slid it across and Abbasad on the edge of the six yard box completely unmarked plants it past the keeper but a mix up there between Mark Jones and Tony Popovich but Grant Lee saw the possibilities a good finishing from Abbasad his fifth goal of the season 88 minutes gone Sydney Croatia one Sydney Olympic two Croatia. Well, the time is against them now. Abbasad, who's shown some delightful touches tonight, gets his name on the score sheet. Now Grabevsky. Into the final 60 seconds. And Sydney Croatia have done so much in this game. One has to feel sorry for them. You're struggling, nothing seems to go right. They've hit the woodwork three times, but it's goals that count. And it's goals that Sydney Olympic have scored tonight. But there's still time. Croatia now thrown everybody forward. Graham Arnold trying the back header, Cooper Shack forward. Walked away there by Kevin Hagen, back helping his defenders. Tony Popovich. 
Rob Assad in there quickly, conceding the throw in. Well, watch now. We're into stoppage time. Pedro Rickoy trying the overhead. It was blocked there by David Barrett. Still Barrett bringing it out of defence. Andrew French was the player coming across. Throw goes to Sydney Olympic. Sydney Olympic happy to win. Waste a few valuable seconds. Inside came off of Andrew French, throw over Sydney Olympic. Now played 60 seconds of stoppage time. Hagen, quite a tussle there with Mike Grabevsky. Lovely skills that from Kevin Hagen. It's Grant Lee. Andrew French was the player chasing back. Now here's Jones. Gary Phillips full in the face. Kuprasak. Now Lee. Krabeski got there before Hagen. Grant Lee again. Provider of the goal for Abassad. And now trying to provide another one for Scott Oller and Short. 90 seconds of stoppage time has been played. Seal. Now Popovich. George Arkis. Now Oller and Shaw. The only player forward at the moment for Sydney Olympics, Scotty Oller and Shaw. George Arkis. To that challenge quickly. Again, Richard Lorenz checks his watches. Surely there can only be seconds left. Two and a half minutes of stoppage time has been played. As the final whistle goes, it's another victory for the league leaders, but it was hard fought. The winning goal came two minutes from the end from Abbasad, his fifth of the season. Olympic took the lead in the first half from Nick Plataniotis, his first ever goal in the National Soccer League. David Seal scored, pulled one back in the 63rd minute to give Sydney Croatia a ray of hope. Disappointment there for their skipper, Graham Arnold, but certainly Sydney Croatia have fought so well but in the end, it finishes up. Sydney Croatia 1, Sydney Olympic 2.